Okay, now the next ray diagram. The object is between C and F, that is center of curvature and focus, and that is for a concave mirror. Okay, so the first thing is as usual. Okay, we are going to draw this center line that is going to be our principal axis. Okay, the next thing that we are doing is okay, we'll keep the protractor on the principal axis with 90 degrees line. Okay, and then we are going to draw the concave mirror. Okay, so this is going to be our concave mirror. Now this point is our pole that is the center of the mirror. From here we are marking a point on the principal axis that is the first point at a distance 3 centimeters and second next point is at a distance 6 centimeters. This point is our focus and the second point is our center of curvature. Now the next thing is we are supposed to draw the object that is lying between center of curvature and focus. Now here you will have to take one care that is you don't bring the object very close to F. Okay, it has to be close to C. Alright, so now I'm going to mark the position of the object. Okay, see I've drawn this object which is closer to C. Alright, now the first ray that I'm going to draw is this ray from the top of the object. Okay, this is parallel to the principal axis. When this ray is parallel to the principal axis, this ray has to pass from the focus after reflection. Okay, I am going to mark the second ray. Alright, this ray is from this point of the object. It is made to pass through the focus. Okay, it reaches the mirror and after reflection, it becomes parallel to the principal axis. Okay. So you can see where these green and grey colored rays are meeting that is the position of the image. Okay. So the first thing is this is the position of the object that is AB. This is lying between C and F that center of curvature and focus. The first ray is parallel to the principal axis the grey colored one. After reflection okay, it is passing through the focus. The second ray that I am drawing is the green one. Okay, that is passing through the focus. After reflection, it is becoming parallel to the principal axis. Now you can see this is the point where the grey colored and green colored rays are meeting. So this is the position of the image. Okay. So this is the position of the image and the image will be marked like this. This will be A dash B dash. Okay. Now you are supposed to write down the characteristics of the image that is formed. The first thing is its nature. Okay. Here you are going to put it is real and inverted. The second thing is its position. Okay. That is it's beyond center of curvature. The third thing is its size. Okay. Now you can see here the object that is AB is only one line while the image which is there A dash B dash is much slightly bigger than that. So here the size of the image is magnified. Okay, that is it is bigger than the object.